Welcome to a brand new episode of Timmy Talks in Chandelar. Well, it's, I haven't opened it yet, but let me open it. Here we go. The dramatic sound is here. We are ready to dive into Chandelar. And uh, this time I'm going to go into a dungeon. I'm very close. If you remember the episode of last week, I'm super close to that one dungeon. So I'm going to dive into it. But before I start my dungeon run, first a very quick message from our amazing sponsor, 3 for 1 Trading. 3 for 1 Trading is one of Europe's leading Magic the Gathering retailers. Their online shop has a fantastic selection of high-end Magic cards, especially for vintage, legacy and, yes, yes, old school Magic players. They now exclusively offer my community free, fully insured and fast worldwide shipping on all their high-end singles, full sets and out-of-print sealed products. They upload new cards every Wednesday and have weekly sale offers and reductions waiting just for you. Use my code TIMMY to get free worldwide shipping on your first order over $500 or euros. Have fun ordering those cards and thank you 341 Trading for sponsoring this video. And we are back and ready to uh, jump into the dungeon. Load save game. Timmy goes green. That's where we're at. And uh, where are we now? Okay, we're at Windless Tower. I believe we were very close to the altar, altar of the Cyclops. Okay, contains small red creatures, no artifacts allowed, life loss carried over, or a flame permanent effect. Okay, so I think we should take out the artifacts because the artifacts are not allowed. We've got one tranquility. Maybe we need to add some more tranquilities. Uh, probably apes could work. Let's see. Ooh, drop of honey. I like drop of honey. Destroy the creature with the least power. So if we got a lot of smaller... I'm going to play Drop of Honey. That's going to be interesting. Desert could be good. Um, and let's play another Tranquility, shall we? Where do I have those? No, no, no. Taiga's Tranquility. So we're going to play two Tranquility. I feel good. I feel good. I think... If I remember correctly, yeah, there it is. Into the dungeon. What? I was going into the dungeon. I guess I gotta duel this Lord of Fate first. What is it with me and trying to get into dungeons? Oh, and wait, the Lord of Fate. Oh, do you remember that episode? Oh man, he gets to start with the Black Knight, really? Okay, I guess not. Yeah, well, Black Knight against me? Let's see, Desert, Forest, Asp. Okay, so at least I've got Asp and Giant Grove for the turn after, so. Oh man, I can't believe I gotta battle this dude again. Oh, of course, of course. Yeah, put, put the strength on it, no worries. Wow, this is really bad news. My plan was, oh wait, I got Whirling Dervish. Gets protection from black, right? Yes. Okay, this Whirling Dervish, this Dervish is saving me. Without the Dervish, end of the road. But with the Dervish, I'm all good. <laughs> a Whirling Dervish is a real thing, by the way. Look it up. It's got a meaning. Um, You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to play Tranquility, I think. Yeah, I'm going to play Tranquility. I'm going to attack. It's going to get a counter. It's going to grow, which is good. Going to take some damage now. That's fine. You wait and see, Mr. Knight. I've got a plan for you. Another forest. Okay, things are looking up. Going to attack with the Dervish. Going to keep the Asp at home. And I'm going to try to block with the Grove on it. Again, the Whirling Dervish growing. Okay, done. We're going to block. Now we're going to Grove. And we're going to kill the Black Knight. Oh man, when you start it with the uh, unholy strength on the knight, I'm like, okay, I'm toast, but now I'm happy again. Yeah, you giant badger. Let's first just attack. 
<laughs> there we go. He's on 11. Ha <laughs> ha Past dirt. This is awesome. There's a skeleton, okay. That is mildly annoying, but not really. Um, let's just attack with these. Of course. So maybe I shouldn't have attacked with the badger, right? Although, oh, look at that. Attack for four. Am I going to take four? You know what? I think I am. I'm going to take four. It's fine. Uh, ooh, I can play Cockatrice as well. I think I'm going to go for... Hmm, actually, I just have to attack with everything and he's dead. So let's do that first. And if he dies, if he doesn't die, I do something else. If he has a healing solve or something else. Hey, winning here. You know what? I want to have the dungeon clue. Uh, dungeon of Cross Keep. A time vault. That's pretty cool. Mox Ruby. West of Windless Tower. Marsh Viper permanently in effect. Okay. Oh, I could choose a card? Really? Pick a card? Okay, that's cool. Um, wasn't expecting that. Uh, let's see what to pick. The pro you know, when this happens, I'm like, okay, what should I pick? There's so many cards to choose from. Um, <laughs> I feel like I should go, oh, maybe is there a living plane in here? No, there is living lands in here. I feel like I can get more living lands later in the game. I could get a crawl worm. I know I still need to get a crawl worm. But that feels kind of right. It's a common. I can probably find it. What to go for? This is tough. I could also just go for Taiga, actually. Let's go for Taiga, because I think eventually I'm going to make a deck like that again. Hey, finally managing to go into the Altar of the Cyclops. Here we go. The Altar of the Cyclops. Okay, I gained some life. I'm on 22. I don't want to get too many dice yet. I want to wait. Um, you know what? I'll battle this troll. Is it a troll? Yeah, troll shaman. Okay, wish me luck. Here we go. Play first. Ooh, that's looking mighty good, actually. I've got desert, drop of honey, giant spider, asp, forest, dervish, mishra. Okay, that's not too bad. Gonna go for Asp turn one. Oh, I hope that he's gonna play like goblins here and I can can drop my drop of honey. Drop the drop of honey. Hmm, he's thinking, do you have a turn one play? Oh, he's got a bolt. That's horrible. Uh, but I've got a forest, so I can go dervish. Pass the turn. So hopefully I get an attack in with the Dervish. Ooh, look at that. He's not doing anything. That's ideal. Um, Let's go factory. Let's attack here. Okay, there we go. Um, I think, should I play the Lanor? Problem is Lanor is not so good with Drop of Honey. So I think I'm going to wait. Because the Whirling Dervish is going to grow. And if he now plays like an often troll, then if I play Drop of Honey, that's going to die to turn after. Yeah, here we go. I think what I can do now is animate the factory and attack with the Dervish. Because I don't think he'll trade. Just a feeling I have. I just don't think he's going to trade. Let's see. We're going to pump, of course. Let's see, pump the worker so we can deal five. Oh, look at that. And now I play drop of honey. 
I guess there's one thing I forgot is life losses carried over. So I actually should have kept... Oh, fireball. Look at him go. I should have kept the factory on blocking duty because, you know, I need to keep my life. Drop of honey. Okay, so the drop of honey is gone, of course, now. That's unfortunate. Um, What to do? So I can go giant spider, but I can also just... Play Lanora Elves and then attack for four. I think that's best. Change to Assembly Worker, pay one. Change to Assembly Worker, pay one. Done. Let's attack for four. Let's half his life total. There we go. This is looking good. First match. Ooh. Problem is I have taken some damage. It's not ideal, but hopefully I can finish it now. It's almost like a real old school match, right? Just finishing it with... Uh... Oh no! Oh no! Did I pay? I think I can rechange it to Assembly Worker. Pay one. Exactly. And I don't get a Mana Burn. That's really good. If you play a format like Atlantic or Eternal Central with Mana Burn, make sure when you play a Suchi to just have some assembly workers or even better GM Day Tomes on the table. I love it when they, you know, destroy my Suchi and I take the four mana, get a card out of it with GM Day Tome. It's, it's always great. Anyway, attacking for four. There he goes on zero. Happy with that. Oh, let's do a question. What is the total casting cost of Wall of Bone? Um... Four mana? Is it four or three mana? I think four. Oh, it's wrong! That actually never happens that I give a wrong answer. Wow, okay. Ooh, I get a Whirling Dervish. Um, You know what? Since I have a Dervish, I'm going to attack you, Troll Shaman. Oh, it's a Goblin Lord. Okay, sorry, Goblin Lord. No harm, no foul. Ooh, look at that. Again, a good opener. I can go Forest, Lana Elves. And uh, turn after, don't have a play yet. But a turn after that, I can go or Giant Spider or War Mammoth. And of course, I have that Whirling Dervish. It is looking mighty good. But yeah, only three mana for Wall of Bone. That's kind of nice. It's a 1 4 with regeneration. Um. Let's see, I could go desert. And I'm just gonna attack with the dervish. And I'm gonna play Lanower Elves because I wanna keep the desert. Oh, it's Lanower Elves. Oh, I thought it was uh, Elvish Archers. The thing is, look at this art. Why is this art on the Lanower Elves? It's an elf with a bow. If it's an elf with a bow, it's Elvish Archers. Am I right? Come on, you know, this is just... It just doesn't make sense. Oh, giant strength. Oh, that is annoying. Um, you know what? I'm going to chump. The reason that I'm going to chump is I don't want to take the damage. Because, I mean, life loss is carried over. Hmm. Let's see, what should I do? Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to attack with the Dervish, make it a 4-4. Four, four. Hopefully next turn he's going to keep his uh, Goblin Balloon Brigade at home to block, and I can play Lure on it and kill it that way. That's what I'm going to go for, because I really don't want to take three more damage. Oh, he's attacking. Unfortunate. Uh, then I'm going to block. I just don't want to take the damage. A polka band, okay. Let's do forest. Oh, what if I would have kept it? I had the giant grove. Oh no. Oh, and I could have killed it with the desert. <sighs> I don't deserve this. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna attack. Uh, 
I think I'm not going to play anything because what I want to do is if he attacks with the Goblin Bloom Brigade, doesn't give it flying, I want to block with the Lawn Work, put the Giant Growth on it. That's going to be my strategy. There we go. So I'm going to block. I'm going to Growth. There we go. Okay, this is perfect. It's funny because life loss is carried over. You know, you start playing completely different. Uh, let's go this. Um, I mean, it could play lure to kill the polka. But did I forget desert again, by the way? Why? why I could have killed it with... De I put desert in my deck to deal with these one ones and then I don't use it. Desert is a pretty useful card, by the way. Like in, in old school, a lot of people play Savannah Lions. Like Desert is perfect against that. Uh, okay, Forest. Uh, let's attack. Oh, making another mistake. Could have lured on the Dervish or the Mammoth, and then he had to block it with both, and then it could have won. Playing a little sloppy. Let's hope I don't get punished for it. Need to bring my A game here to the dungeon. Get my focus back together. I guess it doesn't have any consequence in this case. But still, I'm on 16. Not really happy with that. Okay. Uh, ooh, I get a giant badger. You know what? We're going to fight and then get the treasure. A sorceress. Start the duel. I have a badger in play. Mistress Factory 2 Forests. Sandstorm. Whirling Dervish. Drop of Honey again. And the Giant Grove. Okay. Um, I could go... Drop of Honey, but I think that's not the way to go here. I think I gotta go Asp. Let's first attack. Then we go Asp. Okay, so now we're going to go Asp. Now we're going to pass. I could have, another line could have been leave it open, play Sandstorm to kill Hurl Jekyll. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay, good. Doesn't attack. I'm happy with that. Um, let's go Factory. And I'm just going to attack with both. I should have first attacked, actually. Man, I'm making a lot of mistakes. Uh, do I want a giant growth? No, I'm fine. The reason I should have attacked first is to see if he's going to block. If he blocks like now, the Hurl Jekyll's gone, and then play a force, go for the Dervish play. Instead of go for Factory. It's not the end of the world, because now I can attack next turn, I guess, with Factory. Although I want to drop Dervish. So it, yeah, it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. But hey, he's on six. I can swing in for four if I want to next turn. Um, okay. Let's go forest. Let's first attack. Okay, it's going to take the damage. Uh, I'm going to play Whirling Dervish. That should have already been on the board. I think if the Dervish would have been on the board, I could have actually killed him last turn. Because I could have attacked with Dervish. Oh no, then the factory would have had summoning sickness. I couldn't have killed him. But still. Or her, I should say. I'm playing the Sorceress, right? Let me check. Done. Flip over to fish. Yeah, I'm playing the Sorceress. Um, forest, I could go lure on, yeah, so I'm going to go lure on the dervish. Oh, wow, it's going to make it unblockable. That's funny. That's actually smart. Then <laughs> at least that creature doesn't die. 
Uh, gonna attack with both, then use Giant Growth on my Badger. Growth on the Badger. Hey, winning here, that's good. Hey, getting some life. Finding a balance, okay, I'm not gonna play with white, but still, it's that's nice. Balance is such a good card when you're behind, it's so good. Uh, another Sorceress. Where should I go? Hmm. I feel like I should maybe, shall I just, well, I could go here, get some more dice and have a look here, what's over here. Okay, some more life. Uh, I don't want to get more dice. I don't want to get more dice. I'm already on 20 life now. Um, hmm. I think we're gonna attack that. That's a sorcerer, I think. Let's do that. We're gonna attack here and then hopefully there's something. I encounter a sorcerer. Okay, play first. Here we go, people. Forest, forest, badger, two asps. Oh, wow. Let's drop those asps and just attack as quickly as we can, people. The asps are coming. So I could go desert, drop another asp, turn after that, play giant badger. I'm back on 20 because of the life gain from the dice, which is pretty sweet. Oh, brass man. That's actually the worst card he could have played out. That's a perfect blocker, man. That is perfect. Oh, I, I was expecting like a goblin or something, but... What's my triggered effect? Okay. Taking the damage, gonna drop to 18. At least a badger is a good blocker because it gets plus two, plus two, one blocks. So it becomes a four, four. Oh, winds of change. Okay, never mind. Uh, giant growth is gonna be pretty useful here. Um, let's go forest. Let's play the asp. And then we're gonna pass. Yeah, untap, sure man, attack with it, bring it on. I got a growth, man, I got a growth. Okay, so we're gonna block. Fast effect, yes. And you know what, I'm also gonna use the desert. Because I just, I don't wanna forget the desert anymore. I'm just gonna keep doing it so it's kind of in my system. Another Winds of Change, okay. I mean, it's costing him cards, I don't mind. Um, let's first attack. Gonna go Lunar Elves. And then Giant Badger. Pass the turn. Sisters of the Flame and an Alibaba. Okay. Got a factory. So what I could do is play Drop of Honey. I think that's what I'm going to do. That's going to kill his Alibaba. Although is that, is that a good thing? Could play like super aggressive. He's gonna sister of the flame. Yeah, it's not great. I think I shouldn't play it out. Um, I could attack with giant badger, offer a trade, and then my factory is better. Let's do. Why not? Let's just do it. Go for it. Make the trade. Um, then I can play Drop of Honey, and then his board's open, and I can start attacking with a lot. I like Factory Drop of Honey, by the way. That's a funny little synergy. Okay, so we're going to do Drop of Honey. Pass the turn. I'm not sure if this is the right decision. I mean, the Badger, of course, is a really good blocker, so... Kind of throwing away my own Giant Badger with that attack while I traded it, but you know what I mean? Oh, this is nice. Another 1-1. One, one. 
Drop of honey, select a creature with a power of one. I will, it's the Alibaba. Nice. Gonna play a forest. Um, I could attack here with the factory, see if he wants to trade, but it's gonna die next turn anyway. Do I wanna give it that value? Um, you know what, I'm just, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. It does mean I'm gonna lose a creature next turn, but I get to choose my Lanawer and then attack with the Asp. Oh, look at it, he doesn't even block, so that's good news for me. Um, let's just attack. Oh, I'm forgetting to animate the factory. It's so funny, I do it, and then I realize I shouldn't do it, but then I've done it, and for some, yeah, anyway. It's interesting how my brain works. Oh no, now I gotta kill a creature of my own. Uh, Lana or Elves gonna die. Forest. Uh, let's animate the factory. Tap one. Let's attack for three. Here we go. Play Lanawer Elves to feed to my own drop of honey. I mean, I kind of saw this coming, right? That I would start. Oh, this is perfect. This is the win. I mean, the most important thing that the drop of honey is working in this case is that I'm able to kind of get rid of those cheap blockers and I can attack with my own one ones. There we go. Ooh, okay, I got an asp. What more can I ask for? Hey, <laughs> hey, uh, let's attack. Exploring the dungeon, there's a soul sram. Play first. The, this dungeon's going well so far. Maybe I shouldn't say that just before this important match. Um, let's go factory, giant spider, forest, whirling dervish, sandstorm. I could go for factory and attack, but what I really want to do is have to turn to Whirling Dervish so it can grow. So I'm going to go for that plan. Time will tell if this is a wise decision, but I really want to try to get turned to Dervish. Hey, Asp doing, doing work. Ideally, I would have had a hand with another Asp. I could have had two Asps on the field. I'm really enjoying these Asps. There's a jackal, okay. Fair enough, fair enough. Um, forest. You know what, I'm gonna offer to trade. Hey man, take another, take another asp counter. Oh, more damage. Oh, look at, look at that asp doing work. Oh, I love it. I need to actually print these. I'm gonna print these and I'm gonna I'm gonna use these. Oh no, winds of change. Okay. I wonder why his deck has winds of change. I'm sure there's a reason. Um, let me know in the comments below if you know why the sorcerer. Let's show him why the sorcerer is playing with winds of change. Um, what to do here? I could attack with the dervish. Offer to trade. Um, you know what? I'm just going to attack with both. I think that's good. Because if he if he blocks the Dervish, okay, that's that we trade. Um, but that does mean he takes damage from the Asp and gets another counter. Okay, so he is going to trade there. Um, let's go Lanawer Elves and then Barbary Apes. Barbary Apes for two. Pass the turn. Wow, dropping to four. Dropping to four. These asp counter thingies are doing work. So next turn attack for four. He has to block then. Oh, there's a bolt. That is unfortunate. Guess that's, I mean, that's a decent turn for him, I guess. 
but I can have Swain for two. Don't have a giant strength, unfortunately. Or giant growth, I mean. Um, I'll play giant spider. Pass turn. It would be cool to make a giant themed deck with giant strength, giant growth, giant spider. And of course, all the giants, hill giant, two headed giant, all that stuff. Alibaba. Mm, I should just attack with everything and I should win it, right? Because he only has two blockers. If he's got a bolt, he can survive. Hey, there we go. Let's get the treasure. Oh, library. That is cool. Oh, I didn't know there was a library in here. That's awesome. That is really good. Um, Where can I go next? I guess I could take the dice here and then explore that area further. Let's do that. Wow, a library. That is big. Get some more life. Um, okay, so there's nothing here. So maybe there's something here. Um, wow, I have to go through a lot of enemies. This is probably connected, right? So I think my best bet is that there's something here also because there's no opening here. So, oh, and there's something here as well. So I think Um, you know, I'm just going to go for it. I'm not going to get this one. I'm going to get this dice after I've beaten this dude. Okay, another Goblin Lord. At least I got the Loa already, which is which is a great find. Um, let's see, what do I have? Barbary Apes, Forest, Giant Spider, Thicket. So I go for Factory and Pastor. Mm, I now go for Barbary Apes, I guess. And then next turn I can swing with the factory and the apes. Immolation, yeah. Immolation is quite good, actually. Very good removal. Um, Let me think. Let's go for factory. No, 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 not get mana. Oh. <sighs> okay, two damage, down the drain, down the drain. Next turn, play Giant Spider, turn after that thicket. So this was the moment for me to use that factory. There's the Polka Band. Uh, yeah. So let's go Giant Spider. Very good blocker, pass turn, 21 life. Immolation also really nice with the uh, Rook Egg, by the way. Make it a 5-1. Or a 4-1, I mean. 2-1. What am I talking about 4-1? Never mind. Anyway, Giant Strength. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That that escalated fast, because he, of course, also has that Aura Flame. I'm going to take the hit. I'm going to uh, gonna go to 17. I am going to attack with the spider and then I'm going to play the thicket and I'm going to trade my thicket for a goblin polka band. Why not? Sometimes you got to do what you've got to do. Oh, the weaponry is going to make it even bigger. Oh man, that's a big polka band. Um, let's attack with the thicket. Let's see what he does. Ooh, taking the damage. Play a spider. I mean, I can still double block, right? And he kills one of my spiders, I kill his goblin polka bed. Unless he's got another giant strength. If he has another giant strength, I think I have to chump. I guess on the factory. Or I could block with everything. I could do that as well. Factory, double spider. Anyway, let's see. Mmm, goblin warlord. Such a cool card. Um... Damn, I'm flooded. Uh, let's go take it, see what he does. Okay, I mean, so far, so good. Just keep attacking with the thicket. Ima Garada Aus. 
SDC auf Deutschland. Du, 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 du. Another Lord, yeah, they pump each other. I mean, this board is slowly looking scarier and scarier. Um, let's attack. See what he does. I'm happy with this giant growth. Um, I think I'm going to keep my cards in hand. I don't think he plays Power Search, right? I don't think, I'm not quite sure. I don't think so. But if he, in case he does, I'm just going to keep my Forest in hand. There's the attack. Okay, fair enough. Um, what should I do here? I guess I could make a double block. That's probably the best. And then I keep my grow for later. Could have, oh, what I could have done here, by the way, is animate factory block and then do some other option. Mm. There's the attack on eight. Oh, pay one for each target tap any number of random target creatures. Hear that music. <laughs> Polka time. I mean, Polka Ben is, is just so bad. At least if it would be, you know, um, that it was a random creature of the opponent, it would be a little bit better. Um, let's see, what can I do? I guess I'm going to block the polka band with the spider and put my giant growth on it. Oh man, I so I so should have killed that um, that that goblin warlord. Let's go for it. Sorry, Kelden Warlord. I'm saying Goblin Warlord, Kelden Warlord, of course. Anyway, killing here the uh, the Goblin Polka Band, that was huge. Oh no, on oh, Immolation. Oh, that is good. That is really good. That AI, man, it's got some tricks. Oh, I'm not going to lose, right? Am I going to lose? Um, I'm going to change the Assembly Worker. I'm going to tap one. And I'm gonna attack with the assembly worker. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Okay, fair enough. Hmm. I don't think he's gonna attack with the th with, because of the thicket. He could give Goblin Balloon Brigade flying. Oh, look at this, wow. Um, Houston, we've got a problem. I could put my thicket in front of the Warlord, but I don't think I should. Oh man, I'm getting so much damage. I'm on two. Oh no. Am I going to lose? I think I'm going to lose. Okay, at least I got the Asp, so I can play out the Asp. Oh man, I'm sure I made some mistakes here, man. I'm gonna lose this perhaps. And now this Thomas' weaponry is also looking really good, but I've got three blockers. He's got three attackers. So I just need to relax. I can do this. I can survive. After this, pick up a dice, you know, maybe hopefully gain some life from that. And, you know, I think there's one more treasure here. Oh, giant strength. That's really good. Okay, what's he gonna do? Oh, he's not attacking, okay. Oh, this is great, I'm gonna play lure. Oh, wow. This is awesome. Uh, I'm a little bit worried that maybe he's gonna, for some reason, tap his creature, but I don't think he can. Uh, lure is really a lifesaver here. Lure is a lifesaver. Attack with Thicket and Lure. Go for it. Oh, he's got a block! Give some damage here, who cares? Hey, there we go. He's on three. But I'm on two, like if he's got some direct damage, I'm dead. Okay, no direct damage, good. Wow, I'm really land flooded this game, by the way. The problem is life loss is carried over, so yes, I'm winning this, but I'm on two. Wow. 
Oh man, this is bad. Okay, let's get some dice. Hey, now I can start on three. That's awesome. Oh man, this is so bad. <laughs> oh, this is so bad. Uh, I'm gonna attack this guy. I think I think there's treasure over there. I think. I don't know, but I think. Oh, the sorcerer. Okay, I can play first. That's good. Let's see what I got. Uh, forest factory, forest giant badger tranquility, forest giant growth. I think we should go factory. Let's put the factory here so I don't forget. Pass turn. Don't play a bolt. Don't play a bolt. Don't play a bolt. Don't. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna trust that he's not gonna play a bolt. Okay, there's a balloon brigade. That's a problem because he can fly over me. Um I think should I attack or shouldn't I? I think I'm not gonna attack. Because if I attack, he's not going to block. And then maybe next turn, because I got the factory, he's not going to give the Goblin Blue Brigade flying. That's kind of the scenario I'm hoping for. Remember, he's got the Aura Flame as well. Oh, okay. Uh, no, I can't really respond to that. Oh. I got a Sandstorm. This Sandstorm is awesome. Got to play it out. Oh, killing the goblin! I'm still alive! Oh, I'm so happy with this. Okay. Um, we're gonna animate. We're gonna change to assembly worker. We're gonna attack. We're gonna put a giant growth on it. We gotta go, we gotta go maximum pressure. That's what we gotta do. Maximum pressure. Remember, I'm on three. Oh man, that sandstorm was so brilliant. That sandstorm really saved me, or else I would have been on one. No, no bolt, no bolt. Okay, good. good. Double brass man? That's a problem. Um, I've got a few options. If I attack, I think he's gonna block. I could play Giant Grove, kill one of his creatures. Can also play giant spider, but that will only block one of the. So I think it's best to hear attack. Exactly. And that will mean I'm gonna go to one next turn. I know that. Gonna go to one, but it's. Oh no! Giant strength! Oh no! Oh, it's the end of the road. Bye-bye. I still, you know, I tried, I tried. I think it's the previous game. That's where it went wrong. I lost an Asp. But look, another dungeon. Um, Let's see, buy cards and hints. If you combine Bettering Ram with Lure, I know that, yeah. You've told me a few times already. Strip mine is good. Oh, I got no money. Ain't got no money. Begin a quest, you will reward you with a mana link. Quest to my brother, the Keeper of the Sanctum. You know what? I'm gonna accept. I could use a mana link. West of the Sanctum. Oh, this one. So I gotta go here. And then we can go back to the dungeon. Let's have a look. What, what was up with that dungeon? Okay, we got the Mox Ruby in there and we got the Time Vault, which is nice. Bum, 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 bum. Um, let's see, green, I want to get that asp back in there. Warm man of Rolling Dervish, Drop of Honey. I guess Drop of Honey could go out. It doesn't really make sense in my creature-based strategy to play Drop of Honey. Um, I could add, of course, my library. That's really nice. It could be good in my opening. Opener. Um, maybe one tranquility isn't enough. Hey, a balance I can sell. Yeah, let's sell it. Why not? I'm not using it anyway. Guardian Beast. Only 70. Why is Guardian Beast so cheap in this game? I think I'm going to make another red-green deck, by the way, because that was a lot of fun to play as well. 
But we'll we'll I do that next time. I'll make like a like a big creature deck maybe or a red green deck. Ah, uh, tracker is cool, but I think tracker needs them to be maybe in that bigger deck, that slower deck. Should I just buy strip mine number three? Is that number three? I think. Okay, anyway, let's continue with the quest. Let's go to the Sanctum. Leave the village and go to the Sanctum. It's nice, we're just following the path. Nobody is bothering us. This is the easiest mission so far. You may trade your Clockwork Beast for five extra life in the next duel. Never mind. Hey, this brother's letter. Trade blue amulets for white cards. No, thank you. Um, nothing to buy because I don't play those colors. Cool cards, of course. Oh, let's buy some stuff. Okay. Oh, oh go away. Let's have a look here. Buy cards. Yoshin Soldier I already have. Begin a quest. South to my brother, the Keeper of Unicorn Bazaar. Where is that? You know what? I could I could go there, and then I'm then I'm gonna let's do that. I want amulets. So we gotta go south. Oh, 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 oh. let's change the anti card. Giant badger. I don't want to lose the badger, but I don't want to pay the gold. Okay, I'll duel. I will duel, sir. I will duel you, Santa beast. Um, Forest Tranquility Spider Spider. Wow, that's a slow start. That's not what I want to see. The thing is with, with the green deck I'm playing, you want to go faster. Or, or if you can't, you usually lose. It's as simple as that. 20 both. Alibaba. Okay, man. Uh, hey, there's the Force. Not really what I need right now, but a super cool card. Attack with the Bubba. Yeah, Baba's cool. So flavorful. I wish it would maybe tap a wall and give you something, right? Because he's, he's he takes something out of the wall, right? Um. Okay, so we got factory, we got a pass. Next turn I can go spider, slowly work up to that force of nature. I mean, my plan now basically is Force of Nature win the game. That's my plan. In Chandelard, it usually works. Okay, Barbary Apes. So let's go Giant Spider. Go, go Giant Spider. Swords to Plowshare. Sure, man. If you use it on the Spider, then you can no longer use it on the, on the Force that I'm going to play. Not next turn, but the turn after. I can just now play another giant spider, I guess. Also have Barbary Apes as an option. Oh, Kismet's annoying. Kismet is annoying. Um, look, land coming into play tapped. Creatures coming into play tapped. Kismet is quite nice if you combine it uh, in a weenie deck with Meekstone or um, when you combine it with, uh, with Orch, it's quite good. Um, let's go, giant spider. Pass a turn. Also nice with Winter Orb. So yeah, Kismet is this card you can you can do funny things with. Sarah Angel. Um, what can I do? I think the best way to go is. Could be tranquility to get rid of that super annoying kismet. Let's do that. And then I also keep my uh, giant growth open for all my giant spider to block the Sarah and the next turn play force of nature. I think that's the line I gotta go for. So we're gonna block. Fast effects, of course. We're gonna put it on. Giant, giant growth is so good. Such an all-star card. There's the lion. I mean, also the design of Giant Growth is so good because it's not like, for me, Sword Supply Shares is kind of boring, like instant speed, destroy a creature, whatever, exile even worse. 
But, you know, Giant Grove is just elegant, you know, because you need, you need strategy, you need combat to make it work. Offensively, defensively with Berserk, it's, it's got so many layers where, you know, Swords is just, get rid of something, yeah, you know. I guess the life gain makes it a little bit more interesting, but just my two cents. Uh, anyway, let's first attack, see what he does. Probably just going to take the damage. Uh, let's play the Force. Oh, this is so nice. Should have, by the way, kept the desert untapped. Shouldn't have done the auto tap. Who are we playing again? Oh, the Centaur War Chief. The War Chief. I actually like uh, uh, White Red as a color combination. So many cool decks you can make. Smoke is nice. Oh, smoke is nice. Smoke and Kismet. That is pretty cool. I appreciate that combo. I really, really do. Oh, there's a soldier. Okay. Uh, select a creature to untap. Yep. Of course, I want to pay for the un upkeep cost. There we go. Okay, I guess I got to do it manually. Let's do this. Don't auto tap. Okay. We're going to draw a card. We're going to attack with the force. Hey, there we go. We go forest, we play Barbary Apes. Perfect, pass the turn. Uh, untap the force. Let's double click, because then I think it auto pays. Hey, there we go. Lanor Elves, okay, let's attack with the force. I guess Yoshin's kind of nice, right? Because... It get you know it's the four toughness. It's pretty good. I mean Yoshin Soldier only three. It was called Toy Soldier uh, during the development by the development team, by the way. Antiquity is the first set that really had a story, which was nice. You had of course Arabian Nights, which is inspired by a thousand and one nights. Um, but yeah, Force of Nature, oh sorry, yeah, Antiquities really had their own lore, of course, with the Brothers War, the first set that had that. Uh, let's maybe I should just attack with everything, by the way, but. Uh, okay, one, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Probably could have killed him here. Yeah, he's dead now anyway. Um, Take the dungeon clue. I know, contains small green creatures, okay. Sorts to plowshares. Okay, let's see, where's Unicorn Sanctum? Am I getting closer? Oh man, and I gotta pass the blue castle? No, 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 leave me alone, leave me alone! Okay, change ante. I do want to win the Lanora, I think. Let's go. Let's go, people. Start the duel. Okay, forest, two asps. It's a pretty good hand. Not would, would like to see a little bit more mana, but it's doable. Oh, man, that tower is annoying. The, I do like Tower of Enchantress. That's, that's good, because you're probably going to draw lots of cards. Um... Let's go this one, let's go Asp. Let's attack for one. Okay, let's pass the turn. Uh, let's play another one. Um, let's first just attack with both, then play the Dervish. Ooh, and she lost, she missed her land drop. Ooh, that's bad for her. Good for me. I mean, I have to say, this deck is, is really playing nicely. It's like very autopilot, right? You got your one drop, your two drop. I guess I'm kind of missing a three drop, but if you if you get a lot of where else turn one, you do have that um, turn three play to make. So that's kind of nice. Um... Let's attack. D 
Dealing lots of damage. Um, gonna go Badger. Of course, would have been better to tap the factory again. That's uh, because of the auto tap. Another one. I guess I could now animate the factory. Swing with that too. I mean, this is gonna deal a lot of damage. I mean, she's gaining life from the from the tower, but I feel like I'm doing some work. She's back to ten. Okay, so I can now play Force of Nature. I could also just attack. Wait a minute, two, four. Yeah, I think I can kill her because I got the giant growth in hand as well. So let's do that, shall we? Oh, there's giant spiders. I don't have a giant. I thought it was a giant growth. Um, I thought it was a giant growth, but it's a giant spider. Okay, then in that case, I would have rather played out my force. That would have been more fun. Oh, cockatrice. It's too little, too late, my friend. Just gonna attack with everything. Go, go, green army! I am, I'm really enjoying playing this green. I still don't have a crawl worm, by the way, which is a bit ridiculous. Hey, there we go. Yeah, let's take the, take the cards. You happen upon a, for one red emulet, I will refuel the deck of any creature. Never mind, of green creature, never mind. And that's it, there's the mission a accomplished. The keeper is pleased to receive his brother's letter. You're rewarded with a green amulet, right? Buy some cards. Oh, crow worm! Crow worm! Crow worm! <laughs> Let's buy a lure. You know, buy a life force, buy the boars. Let's buy it all. Buy an iron star, buy a forest. Oh, I don't have money for the... I want to buy it if I don't have money for the forest. Okay, anyway, um... I think this is it. I think I'm going to save here. I'm going to stop for today. Uh, thank you so much for watching another episode right here on Timmy Talks. If you enjoy the content that I make, before you go, please uh, leave a like, share this on your socials, leave a comment. All these things are free and really help the channel move forward. And uh, talking about moving forward, you can also become a patron of the show. Check out patreon.com slash Timmy Talks for uh, all the info. And uh, if you become a patron at the second tier level, your name will be mentioned in the end scroll. What end scroll? This end scroll. What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? Somebody can see.